Hey guys, Bobcat again. So yeah, I, I now I got I brought the um, the top and saw my home light XL. Uh, it's a 1988 uh, model from what the the VIN the model no, the VIN number says. Um, yeah, it's uh, it runs great, sharp, sharp, sharp chain. Um, and I like this part of it here. Made in USA. So here you go. Hold that. I'll show you guys some. Uh, how, I'll show you how well it cuts. Here, come over here. You stand on this side of it. Hit some good shots with it. It's soft. But yeah, she runs great. This little saw here, uh, I can't believe it. It's light too, you know. I mean, like I said, I don't climb trees and and um, you know all that. But uh, it's it, it's nice to keep in the back of the truck when I gotta trim stuff off and cut some stuff. But look at uh, here's both saws. So there's a home light. XL and there's a Poland Pro 655 BP 100 cc and I believe that's 20 uh, 23 cc I think something like that or 26 23 how many minutes are we on Eight. five There, 
show them this. Here, here's our. Uh, this is this is one of my main saws. Also, you guys seen this? This is the uh, get a close up. That's it. The Husqvarna 385 XP. Uh, this got a 28 inch bar and chain Oregon Power Match, 3 8 50 gauge. Um, yeah, this one is the latest one I picked up for like you know these type of jobs where you know like commercial stuff, I, you know, and um, like my vintage saws and stuff. Uh, you know, I like to use those with firewood and stuff, but the McCullers, I, I bring the McCullers out and cut with them, uh, even on these jobs. Like, and then the big wood, I use the, the Pullman Pro. But my other saw is, I got this, the MS-460 still. That's my main saw also. Um, and then I have that 440 too. But yeah, this thing runs great. All right, so yeah, and then then here we got the 190e. This is the powerhouse, the backbone of my uh, little company here. Um, if it wasn't for this machine, I wouldn't be able to get these big trees down that are near the road and power lines. Because number one, I wouldn't even do it. Uh, you know, because <clears throat> you can't you can't mess up. You can't make one mistake and you're done. You know what I mean? But with this machine, I'm able to get behind the tree, you know, and and then I, you know, I got somebody to make make the notch cuts, or I do sometimes, and another person in the machine, uh, and then you're able to direct this. It's like a power wedge, <laughs> you know, to get these trees to go the, the way you, you need them. Um, so yeah, because I, I use my Bobcat 325 for for that same type of thing, pushing trees over, but not trees this big. You got to have at least, uh, you know, this is like a 17,000 pound excavator here. Um, because I tried it <laughs> with my Bobcat 325 and, it, and uh, I almost lost the tree. It, you know, luckily I was able to hold it and it just went sideways, but I, I, I couldn't push it. And uh, luckily nothing ended up happening there, but you learn shit, I guess. But yeah, there's no messing around when it comes to that. A lot of times trees have to be cl climbed. And that, that's why your climbers get good money. You got to climb them or the bucket truck and start from the top down. But, yeah, I, I do, like I said, I do excavation and, and land clearing. So, whatever's in the way of the foundations, driveway, trenching, drainage, uh, or if it's rotten or, or it's leaning hard into the new structure, uh, has to come down. It's part of the land clearing for the new site but yeah so that's a little rundown um but thanks for watching and thanks for subscribers we'll i'll be making more videos